Jayaha Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com The topic for this video is I thought you were spiritual How disappointed I didn't expect that from a spiritual person You know this is not something that is directed at me uh, in, uh, in particular But sometimes you see that in some comments on Facebook There is a thread and somebody complaining uh, Blaming somebody else about something that they did that was not perfect or according to their standard that they made some mistake uh, being out of integrity you know being being loud or being you know aggressive about something so here's the thing when when you meet somebody who calls themselves or defines themselves as being spiritual meditating practicing yoga or any other form of uh, any other practice here is the thing, if you, look, if you expect that person to be perfect just because they do some yoga, because they practice some yoga, you are about to, you know, to be really disappointed. The fact that you're spiritual doesn't mean that you're not human. You're human, you've, you've still got shadows. That's the whole idea, that's the whole point. It is that uh, if you're looking for perfection in a human being, well then start embracing shadows as a part of their perfection anger frustration being loud or sometimes being abusive with something or sometimes entering into uh, trauma states or feeling sad or having all this flow of emotions all this what i would call shadow emotions or shadow states being hit by a shadow wave okay oh my god it's 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 being human the fact that you meditate doesn't mean that you are necessarily completely protected or out of out of the, the field of being hit by by things like that and so when you see somebody who calls themselves spiritual right you, you see them practicing they are teaching stuff and they are out there in the world broadcasting and preaching the the goodness of life and virtue and so on well guess what at some point or another you are going to notice something that's wrong with them something that's wrong but it's 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 human it means that they have some aspect in their life that you feel they could still be working on and it's a work in progress okay so you can blame if you like you can criticize of course you know this is part of the shadow aspects of something that we cannot you know project on somebody you can you can blame anybody you can blame any anything but with the place where you can you can you can shift a little bit this concept is like the fact that somebody spiritual doesn't mean that they are not that they are perfect doesn't mean they they have their flaws they they are humans and they have shadows as well that's a little hint for you i didn't expect that from a spiritual sp person well start expecting <laughs> the fact that the spiritual person is not going to be perfect again you can be practicing yoga as you can be your doing your all your asanas and everything and still you are going to notice oh my god that person has got an ego they are still doing things out of pride. They are in competitive patterns. They are greedy sometimes about money. Sometimes they are very proud. Sometimes they are going to eat pancakes in the morning and not be in this super healthy diet. Sometimes they might be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a you know vegan or vegetarian. I still have a piece of chicken or do something that is, you know, really, really that you go like, wow you are not perfect how disappointing so that's it it's a very simple trick it's human you're a human that's the the mindset that is going to solve it once and for all you go like i'm dealing with a human being a human being who is not perfect yet the fact that you're spiritual doesn't mean that you have no shadows and that you are uh it doesn't mean that you're perfect you're human it's okay, <laughs> okay? A simple trick. I hope that helps you.